Hey guys, it's Kyle here with Tech Buddy, and today I'm doing an Xbox Series X with a beep on, beep off issue. It was uh, a previous repair attempt by someone else. The original issue was just a HDMI port, the console was turning on. Someone tried to change the HDMI port and after doing so, now the console just turns on for a second and turns off. And I'll show you exactly what it does. So it turns on for a split second and turns off. Let me show you what we're dealing with. So, um, yeah, that was the retimer I see. Uh, they, this, these boards do absorb a lot of heat, and so I kind of don't blame the guy for, you know, struggling to get this off. But yeah, that's toast. Let's have a look at this HDMI port, and we've got a bit of crud there. I don't know what that is. Let's uh, just go ahead and brush this clean with some isopropyl alcohol so we can actually see what we're working with here. Okay. So let's just check these pins are actually soldered to the board. Nope. 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 Okay, that one's soldered. No, oh, nope. Never mind. Is this one? Nope. 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 Literally none of those pins are soldered. It gets worse though, because if we flip it over, have a look at the other side of the board here. Um, yeah. I mean, it just, that just doesn't look good, does it? If I bring this thing back from the dead, it's gonna be a bloody miracle. Okay, so there's a lot of work involved here. I'm going to send the customer a quote. This is a to be continued. All right, so we're back here again. I don't know what that is, but we're back here again, finishing this Series X. Let's do it. All right, so I just pre-tinned these uh, pins so that we have a nice solid connection when we go to put this port in the board. I just wanted to mention that the HDMI port actually fell off all on its own while I was doing the inspection. I didn't include that footage because I kind of thought it was a bit pointless, but yeah, the port just fell off the board. I didn't even have to desolder it. It wasn't really attached properly, so yeah, there was nothing really to remove. It just kind of removed itself. So now I'm just continuing to prep the area and solder down the new port. Alright, it is indeed the moment of truth. See whether or not this thing turns on. No, it doesn't turn on. That was a waste of a few hours. Alright, so this might be a part two, I don't know. Maybe it's just a part one. Now I am going to 
take this thing apart again and see if I can sort of find anything else, deep dive into this, because doing all of the stuff that I did, didn't do anything. I am seeing something get hot. Almost 40 degrees, in fact. So what I saw was a hot spot right here. We might be onto something here. We might be onto something here, I don't know. We've got this little chip here. What does that little chip do? I'm not sure yet. But it obviously has something to do with power. No short on the coil. And I found the short. I found the short. Diode mode. Short and short. Looks like this cap. And let's see if we still have a short. And the short is gone. So on this console, I fixed the HDMI port that wasn't put on properly. I took off the retimer IC and put down a new one. I found a short on a tiny little 0201 one microfarad capacitor, replaced that, and uh, just given the board a general cleanup. So now is the moment of truth. I'm going to reassemble this console and we're going to see if all that work was worth anything or whether this is just a pile of junk. I'm just going to test it like this. All right, this is the moment of truth. No fucking way. I've done it. She's back, baby. console is fixed. Man, that was a tough repair. I hope this video was interesting and if not helpful for someone else in the future. If you're not in the repair game and this kind of video just interested you anyway, now you know that a tiny little capacitor that I can't even, I, I literally can't even show you on camera. Like, let me see if I can, can you see that tiny little speck on the pad there? That was the reason that this console didn't work. Let's just quickly check our disk drive. So it's ejecting as well, which is great. Taking the disk in. Does our sync button work? Yes, it does. You can see that syncing away. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you need a fix, techbuddy.net.au. Leave some comments below, subscribe, all of that jazz, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.